1 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 1. Now as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puff it up. Knowledge puffed up. But charity edifies. But charity edifies. A leader must have charity. Charity is not about yourself. When you have charity, it's not about you. So, and yes, a leader, we must be like, what is Quest was a, how oh, should put it? Quest was a servant, therefore, a leader must be a servant to the people. Yes, you should have done, but no, you have what, no, you have what the mark is right, no, you have what. Christ so they, they Christ so they must amar the church because Christ actually died for the church of Israel. Christ feed the nation of Israel. Now yes, you so on my Israel for the on my own baby. It's not about you. It's about the congregation. It's about that brother that's next to you. It's about that sister that's next to you. That's charity. And now and now and now and you will be out here, out here, out here, on one. Read. Verse 2, and if any man think that he knoweth anything, so the Bible said, if, if a leader think he know anything, read, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. That's the brother who think he know more than everybody. Bishop Nathaniel Ben studied this Bible for 30 years, and he still don't know the whole Bible yet. This is for the young men who think they know them more than everybody. Read that scripture again. And if any man thinketh that he knoweth anything, if any man think he know anything, he knoweth nothing. You know absolutely nothing. Because guess what? Whatever you know is what the, the knowledge most I can give you. And to say, the Indiana world and the inquiry and the mouth. Read. But, I mean, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. But yet as he ought to know. From there, any of you want to add? Because I'm moving on. Now, we discuss number one, a leader must be ready to take order more than giving order. And to say, Shah said, King Kai said, Oyo Kalifua, I'll say, Oyo Jake, now the man will be. Now the man will be. Number two, a leader must have the power or the ability to lead others. Yeah, that should be a loot. I was so you can fly. Who to me get to me and I show you animal. Number three, a leader must have the capacity uh, right, capacity. Capacity. capacity to mold individual to lead others. And to your can fly, I'll say when you are more day ah, what you mean? I said I get you to me, don't swap it down. Number four, being a leader, take courage, discipline, and de determination. I want so determination. I will say, when you are a one day, to me, when you are a one day, now to me, and if you are a one day, and if you are a one a leader also must be serious. When you are a one day, you are a one day, and you are a one day, and you are a one day, your brothers that's become an officer, this is no time to play no game. Whatever game you used to play before this, it's over. Hebrew 13 verse 7. The book of Hebrews chapter 13. In verse 7, read, remember them which have the rule over you. Remember those that's rule over you. Here in Ghana and Kumasi, Ghana, including Accra, if I'm not mistaken, is Officer Oshaya. Not Oshaya, 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 Oshaya. Officer Oshaya is the point man here in, in Ghana. Officer Hosea only answered to the to the captains and the and the deacon and the bishop. That's it. Officer Hosea only or give three captains, deacons, and the bishop all one of them. Read with that again. Hebrews. What was it again? Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. 
Remember them which have the rule over you. Remember them that's our rule over you. Who have spoken unto you the word of God. So those are the ones that's teaching the word. Those are the ones that's putting the brick. Those are the ones that's going out that's going out there and teach the word to work up Israel. In other words, show, show some respect. That's what you're saying. Without no respect, we cannot build a nation where there is no respect. We, whose faith follow, whose faith follow, we, considering the end of their con conversation. Okay, that was seven? Yes, sir. James 1 and 12. The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. So God said, Blessed is the man that's what? Endureth temptation. That's what? Endureth temptation. Mm -hmm. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Everyone in this womb is going to be tried one way or the other. <laughs> Our trial is not going to be the same. Some of you trial is going to be money. Some of you trial is going to be a woman. Some of you trial is going to be a nice car in nice house. Some of the sister trial is going to be a brother. Repeat. Yes, some of the sister trials gonna be a brother. It's gonna be money. It's gonna. In other words, you try might be the material stuff that you you really care about. And some of you is gonna be con congregational trial. Some of you, the blood that sit next to you right now, the sister, the sister that sit next to you right now is going to be your trial. But when you try come, this is what the Bible said. Now, Read that again. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. So when you try to come, the Bible says, Blessed is the man that's endured temptation. Temptation is coming. Get your mind ready for it. What's it? Or how? And then it's a very good thing. If any of you here, you still, you, all your family members still talking to you. You still have the same amount of friends. Uh, you might not be an Israelite. <laughs> because with this Bible, you're going to make a lot of enemies. Christ make many enemies, so you still a follower of Christ. What do you think gonna happen to you? Read. For, for, no, no, sir. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. So when you try, you, you, you succeed that trial. And to say, sir, I'm a new bar, so, and I say, it's only bar, so, what's not for a so, a so. The Bible said you're going to receive the crown of life. Me personally, I don't trust nobody that never went to nothing. In this truth, you're going to go through things. If you've been here one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, you never go to nothing, something's wrong. And you are saying one year, two years, three years, four years, ah. That's a whole course, I don't know. And then, check on, check on, check on. Being in this truth is not going to be a walk in the park. So, what was that? And yet, you're going to make enemies, and you're going to make enemies, and people's going to hate you. You're going to make enemies, and people's going to hate you. You're going to make enemies, and people's going to hate you. The book of Sirach, chapter 2, in verse 1. 
My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, is everybody here come to serve the Lord? Yes, Read, prepare thy soul for temptation. God is telling you, prepare your soul, prepare yourself, because the temptation is coming. Read, set thy heart all right. There, he said, God's telling you to set your mind right. To set your mind right means get those scriptures there in your mind. Get your mind right. Why? Because temptation is coming. Read. And constantly endure. The Bible says to constantly endure. You know what it means to constantly endure? To constantly endure is you keep going, you keep going to hard time, but you don't give up in this shoot. You know why also this is constantly endure? Jesus Christ said, the kid, the, I'm gonna the only one who's gonna get the kingdom is those who endure to the end. And Jesus said, I'm gonna make you never see a year when I'm going to so to get the kingdom, you must endure. You must go through some hard time in your life. God is not just going to give us the kingdom just like that without putting us to nothing. You finish that? Huh? Read. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Make not haste mean when the time comes, do not run. Every one of you in this room, one day, you're going to get corrected. Black people hate correction. Some of us can ask spell correction. <laughs> <laughs> nobody in this room, nobody in this room cannot get corrected, including myself, including these men. I've been corrected many times by Bishop. If Bishop see me do something we don't correct me, that means he hate me. There is not especially sisters. Sisters hate correction. All correction is not the same. Some question is soft, some question is hard. But regardless, you have to just take it, repent, and keep moving. You finish that? Yes, sir. Now, uh, give me a... Uh, where do I want to go? Give me Jeremiah 1 and 5. Captain? The book of Jeremiah. Chapter 1 in verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. So, God told Jeremiah, before I formed you, I knew you. Read. And before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee. So, God told Jeremiah, I have been sanctified you to do what? And I ordained thee a and, prophet. And God told Jeremiah, I ordain you a prophet. Guess who you are? You are the Jeremiah today. There is no difference between your brothers and the prophet. We are the modern the prophet today. We unto the nations Un do we the whole thing again before i formed thee in the belly i knew thee and before thou comest forth out of the womb i sanctified thee uh -huh. and i ordained thee a prophet unto the nations so god have 
ordain us a prophet to rebuild back the nation of Israel. Every single, give me one second. Every single brothers, every single sisters who sit here, God called you first for a reason. And to your bar, and that's why your bar is here. Now, if you fail, it will be being transferred or fell back. Any brother or sister who walk through these doors after you, you responsible for them. And so we are very free here. We are happy here for the oh, that's all right. Okay, that's all. Okay, that's all. So you got that. You got a great responsibility to the people that's out there. And who are said here? Oh, more and more volunteer. Who are said here? Oh, so many. Okay, I'm sure. Your man, this is not about you. It's about that we built the nation of Israel that been destroyed for so many years. Hey, real quick, give me First Thessalonians chapter five. Read verse five. The book of First Thessalonians, chapter five and verse five. We all need to keep this in mind. Excellent, excellent topic that uh. I'll say that I show you I'll say that I show you something. I am very, I am, I, I, yes, you are. I tell me here, you are. Read. Ye are all the children of light. You are all children of the light. All of us, we are the children of the light. Come on. And, and the children of the day. And the children of the day. Light, same thing. Come on. We, we are not of the night, uh -huh. nor of darkness. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. You, you are different. Therefore, you got to do like Christ said to do. Let your light shine so the whole world can see. Read on. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Let us not sleep as others do. Come on. But let us watch and be sober. It says let us watch and be sober. This means keep your eyes open, watching for one another, <laughs> looking for one another. <laughs> this is a part of charity, being charitable to one another, loving one another like Christ loved us, right? <laughs> And the second greatest commandment is love your neighbor as you love yourself. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.